Andre, uh, Coach Holtman's been really harping about uh, going after more loose balls, being better on the boards. Uh, just your, the ball movement and, and the hustle plays were extraordinary tonight. Could you just talk about that, those phases? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's something that he's definitely been emphasizing these past couple of days. I know, uh, I mean, it was something that we kind of didn't do last game, so he kind of harped on it this whole week, and it's something that we uh, tried to do early. How well do you think you guys were able to manage um, playing with more defensive intensity? That was a big talking point out of the Syracuse game. Uh, I mean, I think we did a good job. I mean, they didn't hit a three, so that was a, definitely a big key for us coming into this game, especially with last game, they've hitting so many threes. So I think we did a real good job. Musa, for you, the, the spark that you provided in the first half there, what was, uh, were, were things uh, drawn up for you? Were you just making the best of the situation? Or why were you able to have the impact you had tonight? Uh, I was just ready to play. And guys set me up to be successful. I just took the opportunity. Musa, do you, do you feel any more I know you've, you've had a role all year, but, but do you sense maybe it might increase a little more now with, with Luther being out that you have any more you know, sense of urgency knowing you were down a man? Uh, yeah, whenever you hate to see a player go down, but um, it's next man up. They don't push games back if we have one player out. And so it's just next man up. I was ready. Andre, they had a, a 9-0 run there at the end of the first half, and then you got a three-point play to kind of stop it. Took it from an eight-point lead to an 11-point lead at halftime. Just, just sense how big that that bucket was for you in that moment, and what did that do for you guys, momentum-wise, going into the half? Uh, I mean, I realized that it was a big play. I mean, they were kind of on a run, like you said, and for us to get that bucket. I mean, I think Moose gave me the assist. So, I mean, just my teammates looking for me and um, just trying to make plays to get our momentum back. So. I think both of you guys had like your best games last year against Purdue, and this is probably your best, both your best games this year. Um, how important you guys always get lauded for your defense, but um, what were you, was working for both of you guys offensively tonight? Uh, I mean, just being ready. I mean, uh, a lot of the shots that we got was because of our teammates. They were just setting us up, putting us in the right positions, and coach putting us in the right places. So we were just ready. Andre, that three-point play. How, how prepared are you to be that guy if the other team is putting together a run, to be the guy that, that steps up and makes that big basket? You've hit some jumpers this year when teams have put runs on you guys, but how much more prepared do you feel to be that guy than you maybe had been in the past? Uh, I mean, I worked a lot on my game this offseason, so I mean, I'm confident in my game. And uh, I mean, I'm just here to do whatever the team needs me to do to win. So if that is making a bucket to stop a run, I mean, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, definitely, yeah. Like I said, with the work I put in in the offseason, I definitely feel more confident. Uh, with three-point defense, I mean, you said that was something that you guys have been working on. I mean, what kind of went into that and what kind of led to that kind of success tonight against Minnesota? Uh, I mean, it's just something that we just emphasize really this whole week, especially with the amount of threes that Syracuse hit and the big shots that they had that kind of get them rolling. Uh, I mean, we went into the game knowing that they had some shooters that were capable of doing that so we just it was an emphasis all week i mean in what way did you emphasize it in practice in terms of just certain drills or certain just watching filmmaking being aware of what they could do what what did you guys do differently yeah a little bit of both drills and just watching film knowing that that's something that they do what do you guys miss with with luther out for however long he's out and how did you guys you know what whether the fact that you lost the game last week and you also lost a guy who's very important to, to your team uh, I mean, you guys see it. He brings uh, a lot of energy and a lot of life on both ends of the floor. And he's not afraid to attack or get up in somebody on defense. And so we just had to all collectively step up and fill that part. To follow up on that, Luther still was extremely active over there on the sideline. He was almost standing as much as Coach Holtman was the entire game. You know, is that encouraging to see that he's still <coughs> engaged even though he's out? Yeah, for sure. There's no holding him back. He's probably talking even more now that he's out, and I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> Mr. Free, what, what's it feel like? You, I mean, the, the student section was chanting moves as you were getting things rolling there. Uh, what, what does that feel like when you're making an impact and the, the crowd is feeding off of it? Uh, what, what is that like? Um, I mean, it feel, feels good that you have a whole program and uh, fans that are dedicated to the team and 
when the, whenever they're supporting you and you're doing well, it feels great. And I th you seem to be pretty close with Joey. I saw Joey play some important sec seconds there at the end of the first half. I think it's the first time ever, maybe. What was that like, and what does it do for the team when a guy like that has to play maybe a little bit more of an important role than he did before? Uh, but before the season started, I told him that he was going to play in the first half this year. And so I was glad that uh, Holt put him in and gave him the opportunity to execute the last defensive possession. Thanks, Hyde.